Alright guys, today we're gonna cover another Metallica tab book in chronological order, so we are going to Master of Puppets tab book today and uh, it's called the uh, Authorized Edition right here um, I'm not sure what they mean by that, it's really not very well transcribed um, uh, well, tab book, it's not a good tab book uh, it's a very nice cover, it makes you wanna pick it up, I, I guess <laughs> The content, unfortunately, not very good. Uh, many riffs are incorrectly tabbed, so my rating for this tab book is very low. It's 2 out of 5. Um, and I cannot go, f go through everything, okay? I will only show you that the main riffs, so where the most blatant mistakes are made in the book. Um, if you want to go to look at any particular song, you have the playlist. Uh, a link to my Master of Puppets lessons in the description below the video uh, and you will also find the guitar solo transcriptions uh, in my my lessons if you want okay so let's go for the riffs uh, battery um, there's this riff in the middle where they forgot permuted E's basically so they in the tab book we have something like this Okay, well, something like that. So they forget the open E's uh, here, and some notes are maybe not correct totally, but it should be something like this. Okay, so that's uh, that riff in the battery. The second riff in battery is um, here. Right, so here again they also forget the permuted E's and I actually did forget that in my video uh, rhythm guitar lesson but I did add a comment on that afterwards uh, so basically what you have to do, you have to do a permuted E's in between all those power chords, right? so it's gonna be So that's the right version of the riff. Now we come to Master Puppets and there are many riffs here that are incorrectly tapped. Unfortunately, uh, starting with the intro riff. So I don't know why they add the major chords here. Um, and they do that in the next riff as well. But the right version, and you probably know it, you start here with the E power chord, low E power chord. Then that, right? And then the continuation of that riff. Okay, so again, they throw in those, uh, those major chords here five. Uh, that Metallica doesn't play, they only play the simple power chords here, right? And they play the descending line. Uh, the chromatic line all all together on the E string. They don't they don't use the A string like they want you to play in the first bar. So you have and it goes on like that, right? Now those the final note in the yeah, in the last bar it should be first fret on E and not open E like they have in the tab book. So yeah, that's that. Then, next riff. Yeah, so here again they forget an open uh, A, uh, permuted A, in the middle of the second bar. And I believe there was a, a hammer on going in the preceding chords. Basically, you're gonna do open A and 4th fret on D, hammer on to 2nd fret, and they play open uh, permuted A, and then the rest. Okay, so, and like that. Alright, I think that's what I hear on the recording anyway. And uh, next riff, really weird. Alright, so first we have this big power chord here. Um, I guess we have two guitars if you want kind of brighten up the riff a bit, you can split it between two guitars 
and but I don't think Metallica does that. The weird thing is the second chord, they want you to play F major chord. Correct, uh, I don't think they do that. Metallica, that is. Uh, so I think the riff is more like this, basically very simple. Okay, simple ball chords. Alright, and then last riff. Uh, we have, oh sorry. <laughs> So this riff is mostly correct, but uh, what Metallica does there, um, instead of playing, uh, uh, let's say, 5A, and then 2, 4, 5 on D, they actually play open D, come out to 2nd fret, and then they play 4, and come out to 5th, all on the D string, okay, so it's like... Like that instead. Next, uh, the thing that should not be right. So the main mistake they made in the book is they got the tuning incorrect. So they want you to play drop D, but Metallica plays it in D standard tuning. Okay, so all the strings are dropped to uh, two half steps. And uh, I'm not gonna shoot down my guitar now, but basically you yeah, you can see the the riffs gonna look totally different than uh, in the different tuning and uh, so this is the one riff in the beginning that's incorrect right here and then another riff uh, is this one here that is not correctly tapped um, and again I can't really play it because I I don't have the the standard tuning guitar right now but I mean you can basically play it for yourself right and then another riff from the thing that should not be in the chorus. Uh, yeah, it looks really weird in the book. It's like, and well, I'm not on drop D, but uh, yeah, you, it looks weird. It's it's not like that at all. Uh, <laughs> yes, basically, yeah, I could play my version of this riff. So basically, you have, well, I believe it's more like this. It's like out of shapes in the beginning and then you have that right and um, yeah that's what I believe they play welcome home sanitarium so the tabloid version um, this is like uh, the riff that is played like right around the chorus right so it's like Okay, so the tablet version says to, to play like this, the ending, I think it's played it's probably descending line all the way down to low E, right? So and not and not this maybe another second guitar ends on the G the third fret, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's like if you end on open E you'll be fine, okay? <laughs> um, another riff from Welcome Home, and here they again they forgot the punctuated E's in between the power chords, so like yeah, it's not gonna stretch. You have to put in the punctuated E's in between all those chords, so like. That, right? And then we come to disposable heroes. So here, they want you to play something like that. So basically, uh, yeah. What they missed there is this little quick pull off in the middle of the of each bar. So it's supposed to be like. Right, so um, yeah, a little pull of there, there, there. Right. 
then another riff. Yeah, that one they really screwed up. So it's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that doesn't even sound like uh, Metallica plays it. So what we have here instead is uh, we have power chords uh, where they use pull-offs to open E. Okay, it kind of goes like this. So uh, you start with open E, power chord, and then pan muted E twice, and then you go to A power chord, and then you pull off index finger to open E. Okay, and then pan muted E twice, and then you repeat that thing, but on the third fret and then on the second fret. Okay, so that's what they play there. Now, Leper Messiah, I have to, uh, um, yeah, I have to say this riff there is really, it's really badly tapped, uh, and it's not really, it's not an easy riff to transcribe, I, I know, but uh, it's, I mean, it's really horrible in the book. Um, so yeah, you can go through it on your own if you want, I'm not gonna do that, uh, so instead I think, I'm pretty sure the riff goes like this. it and then another riff for Leper Messiah uh, it's slightly incorrect you have this uh, beginning chord here they play 3 and 2 on A and D and pull up to a second fret on A right well, that's what the tabbook says um, but uh, I think the riff goes more like this you have you start with with the power chord 3 and 3 on A and D and then you pull off to 2 and 2 like. Oh sorry Right, can go, go like that Like that instead And If we look at Orion now uh, Actually, I don't have that much to say about uh, about this Yeah, song is mm, Pretty well tapped with some kind of minor mistakes, but I can't really go through all that. Uh, again, I refer you to my lesson if you want to know more about about the tab. Um, but this riff here is a bit weird, and it's not easy to tap it. Maybe. All right, so that's what the tab book says, right? Uh, but I think it's more like this. <laughs> um, kind of like that. Uh, all right, and then um, yeah, palm muted uh, free string power chords. Uh, that's cool stuff. Um, and finally, we come to damage ink. So here, uh, that riff. Again, it's maybe tough to transcribe. Um, so you have the spark where you, in the beginning when it's really fast, and you go like. Yeah, um, kind of like that. Um, that's not what's happening really. Um, so I think the right version is more like this. Bits like that, right? So basically, it's a uh, quite a tough riff to learn, actually. Um, and I played a bit slower than I should, maybe, but I don't really, I don't have that riff under my fingers all the time, so <laughs> at full speed. Uh, but basically, it's. Uh, so you're gonna do uh, palm muted fifth fret on E, and then you're gonna do a seven seven on A and D, and then seven eighth. Okay, so it's like a trite on there. So three times on that, and you go back to this fast one minute E. Yeah, 
then you're gonna do like a slide from 7th fret down to 4th fret and then play Pangu the 2nd fret on the E and then land on 3rd fret and play 5-5 five, five on A and D go to 5-4 three times as well, okay? and then you're back to the old uh, to the beginning of the riff with open E okay, so that's my go through the Metallica book. I mean, it's a... I don't know, if you like, if you really are a big fan of Metallica and Tabooks, or I don't know, you might want to get it anyway, but beware that it's really... Uh, you need to uh, be very cautious with all those tabs in it. Alright? Have fun, guys!